Dear Smith, sustainability is integral to our circular business model. When we originally launched our Now and Next sustainability strategy in 2020, we were really inspired by our partnership with the Ellen MacArthur Foundation. We set ambitious near and long-term targets that reconfirmed our commitment to the circular economy and our purpose of redefining packaging for a changing world. And I'm very proud of the progress we've made to date, together with our customers, suppliers and the communities in which we operate. But the world and what it takes to lead are changing rapidly and we're changing with it. Since 2020, we've faced extraordinary challenges, from COVID-19 and supply chain disruptions to conflict in the energy crisis. We're seeing the increasing impact of climate change and biodiversity loss, and we're part of a global movement for equality and inclusion. Circularity is already core to our business, and where we can have the greatest positive impact is in helping to create a low-carbon circular economy. We do this by taking action today across four areas. Circularity, carbon, people and communities, and nature. In focusing on circularity, we are helping our customers design out waste and pollution and keep materials in use for longer to reduce the demand for natural resources. We've already achieved our aim to manufacture 100% recyclable packaging, and we're leveraging our circular design principles to help our customers embrace circularity. We have a target to help customers remove 1 billion pieces of problem plastics by 2025, and we're already well on our way to achieving this goal. It's what drives us to innovate into new areas, including piloting reuse solutions with our partners. When it comes to carbon, we all know that rapidly reducing emissions is essential to limit global temperature increases to 1.5 degrees. Our science-based target is to reduce greenhouse gas emissions by 46% by 2030 compared to 2019. Investing in new technologies, switching to renewable energy and improving energy efficiency are just some of the ways their sites are reducing emissions. We're also supporting our strategic suppliers to set their own science-based targets to reduce supply chain emissions. Ultimately, this helps their customers deliver on their carbon commitments and together we will reach net zero emissions by 2050. Our focus on people and communities recognises that safe diverse and inclusive businesses are sustainable businesses. Our Vision Zero approach to health, safety and well-being supports our ambition for all our people to return home safe and unharmed at the end of the day. Nothing is more important. Our sites play an active role in their communities and we seek to represent the communities and customers we serve. With new goals to improve gender and ethnic diversity at all our sites, we are working to create a diverse and inclusive workplace that is the safest in our industry. Our aim is to protect and regenerate nature as part of a low carbon circular economy. We are proud of our work with our communities and partners on biodiversity and responsible sourcing. And we continue to reduce water consumption in water stressed areas. But there's still more to do. We are increasing our focus on measuring and improving biodiversity in our own forests and we are investigating new science-based approaches for setting targets for nature. By engaging our people, inspiring our communities, encouraging our suppliers and supporting our customers, we can lead the transition to the low-carbon circular economy.